Welcome to the video. Today I'll guide you through the best AMD adrenaline settings for the ROG Ally to maximize performance, reduce power consumption, and enhance gameplay. Let's dive in. First, open AMD Adrenaline and confirm that the latest driver is installed. If it's not, you can easily update it through the Armory Crate app. Let's move on to my custom graphics settings. AFMF2. I use this in almost every game for smoother frame pacing. Anti-lag. This reduces the input delay caused by AFMF2. Radeon Boost. Great for boosting performance during fast-moving scenes. I no longer use RSR because it doesn't improve visuals more than RIS and negatively impacts performance. Radeon Image Sharpening RIS. Keeps visuals crisp without affecting FPS. On a small screen like the Ally, RIS is more than enough. Limiting FPS to 60 prevents unnecessary power drain. With AFMF2, perceived FPS exceeds 60, so there's no need to push higher and drain the battery. These settings balance performance, visuals, and efficiency. In the Gaming tab, set the Gaming Experience to use Global Experience to apply these settings to almost every game. For online competitive games, remember to prioritize low input lag, use default or non-lagging settings like RS instead of AFMF or Radeon Boost. In Armory Crate, I made one key adjustment, added a manual 15W mode under the Operating Mode tab. This is ideal for games like Diablo 4, where silent mode falls short, but max performance isn't necessary. TPU boost has minimal impact on performance in most games. The GPU settings tab is critical. Set assigned memory to GPU to 8 GB for optimal performance in most games. Disable RSR and Radeon Chill to avoid conflicts with adrenaline. Enable AFMF, Anti-Lag, Radeon Boost, and RIS. In per-game settings, it's crucial to leave everything unassigned. Except for online games, where latency is a concern. For those, disable all graphics optimizations to avoid conflicts or lag. Finally, the best performance in my tests comes from using a 900p resolution. While you can set windows to 1080p and adjust in-game settings to 900p, some games still run at 1080p internally. I recommend setting windows resolution to 900p to avoid this issue. That's it for now. Drop any questions in the comments. And if you found this helpful, like the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.